Hey, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you a really useful package, which is called Slidable, which is, you know, that thing where you can slide a list tile, like a contact left or right to kind of bring up new options. I'll link the package below so you guys can take a closer look at it if you like, but I can show you real quick by jumping into the code. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just so we're on the same page, I've got in my main function running my app, which brings us to this home page. And this home page is just a stateful widget. And inside my scaffold in the middle, I've just got this list tile. So this is just kind of a kind of like a contact tile. So I've got my name and my number and we'll use our example on this list tile. So I also made a separate tutorial for list of views which involves a lot of list tiles. So check that out if you need. But just in this tutorial, I'm going to show you about the slidable. So first of all, let's go to the pubspec.yaml and in your dependencies, we're going to add this package. So flood us underscore slidable. And this is the latest version as of today. So let's save that and get rid of this file. Now what I'm going to do is this container, which has this list tile, I'm going to wrap this in a widget called slidable. So if you start typing slidable, you should be able to see the package that we imported. Okay, so make sure you've imported this guy at the top. And the first thing we have to do is to specify this start action pane and later we're going to do this end action pane. Okay, so the start action pane is when you slide from the left and it comes out from this side. So let's start specifying this. So in the action pane, we're going to have some children. So what are the options that's gonna come up if we slide from left to right? So as an example, since, since this is a contact number, let's have a slidable action. And when we press this, do something, let's make something happen. And I guess specifically here we can say call number. And then let's give it an icon. So let's say icons.phone. Cool. And this one, let's just see what this error is. So you can see that the name parameter motion is required. So let's go under this action pane and specify a motion. Now with this motion, if I just show you this over here. So this is the package. And you can see there's a few different motions you can go for. So you've got behind motion, draw a motion, scroll motion, and stretch motion. So you can just pick whichever motion you like. I'm going to go with, let's go with stretch motion. So once you've picked a motion, let's say stretch motion, there it is. And let's just save this for now. So if I slide from this side, you can see there is our new button. So it looks like it's just white. So I'm going to say green. And when I click on this, then this function is going to get called. And this is where you can implement the, uh, the method for it. And by the way, I made a separate tutorial for that where you can um, call and make text directly from your Flutter app. So check that out if you like. But yeah, I'm just going to leave this blank for now. And in this slidable action, you can actually copy this and create another one. So let's say text number. Let's make this blue and let's give it a chat bubble. Okay, so if you save this, then you'll have two things in there. Okay, so you can actually put three or four objects in here if you like. And if you want to make this even more fancier, you can specify this flex property which if you've done any work with expanded widgets, 
you would know what this flex is but basically it makes it in a ratio of two to one so if you don't specify the flex here it will be one by default okay so you can use this to change up the sizes for the buttons but for now just to keep it simple we'll just leave the flex to be one and so with this idea we can actually do the same thing that we did for the start action pane and we're going to do this for the end action pane okay so let's actually just copy all this And here we can say, let's just give it one action. And let's just say like delete. And so with this one, because it's on the end action pane, it actually comes from this side now. So those are the two different panes. So you got the start on the left and the delete on the right. So that's how you use this swipeable, sorry, not swipeable, it's a slidable widget. And I just love Flutter for these things. They just keep coming out with these new widgets that just make our life so much easier. Where of course you can actually create this by yourself and implement it how you like. But Flutter is just a gem, so they just already created these things for us to use. So like I said, this list tile is the child of this slidable widget that we just imported and you can put this list tile in a list view so you can have a list of them and as i said before i made a separate tutorial for list views so check that out if you need so play around with this and let me know if you have any issues but other than that thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace